The general election is now less than a month away, and based, how, based on how divisive the campaign has already been, what can voters expect at polling places? We spoke to the Flagstaff Police Department to see how they are preparing for Election Day. For the most part, we expect, despite differing opinions, everyone to behave in a, a lawful manner to make sure everyone's voice is heard. Sergeant Charles Hernandez says police do not expect any problems November 3rd, but they will support the staff at polling places. He says voter intimidation, coercion, and violence will not be tolerated, but people do have a right to speak their mind. There are First Amendment issues that we have to ensure we protect as well, because um, we're not strictly enforcing laws. We are protecting the rights of individuals too. When we take enforcement action, it'll be because of someone's behavior and not because of their beliefs. At polling places like the NAU Sky Dome, Coconino Community College, and Flagstaff High School, protest groups are allowed at a certain distance from the polls, but it is illegal to harass voters or trigger violence. Hernandez says he expects emotions to be running high and officers will be ready to maintain order just in case. Uh, in this day and age where people are vocal, um, it's important to remember that everyone has a right to their opinion, everyone has a right to voice the opinion. I think it's important to control your own emotions as well. Flagstaff Police want to remind everyone to act responsibly and be careful at polling places. The FPD will also be enforcing masks and social distancing to protect from the spread of COVID.